know this sounds I know this looks really crazy but let me explain this actually works as a matter of fact let me show you how the props fall it really doesn't matter just drop it in the box without a gimbal guard ha! lock the clip and you're good to go and there's also a remote control holder which is pretty dope you can do it without the phone links in the description review coming soon now back to this video so i'm doing my usual browsing around youtube my favorite place and should be your favorite place too and if you have not subscribed subscribe already all right i'm not gonna say it again i will say it again and hit thumbs up and i bumped into this video right here by drone the sky let me hit subscribe and you should too link to that video in the description as well my point is after seeing this i realized each is the app that you need to download i've had it for two years hmm I never used it. But if you want to get the features out of the DJI Mavic Mini that the other more expensive drones offer, DJI doesn't make those features. So you'll have to download the Lychee app. Just go to your app store, type in Lychee. Now, if you've never had the app before, it's like $25. Not bad to unlock some cool features. So download the app and then look in the description of this video I'll share a link to be a beta tester for the Mavic Mini so the app works with the Mavic 2 and other drones but to, for it to work with the Mavic Mini you need to become a beta tester click on the link below it takes you to the Lychee page click on become a beta tester and then when you go back to your Play Store maybe give it 10 or 15 minutes you'll see an update available download that update and BAM! You have access to everything that you're about to see. Let's get Mavic Mini up in the air. This is not a tutorial either. This is just a brief overview of what's coming. Because this app that you're looking at right now is actually in beta form. And that means that if you were to download this from the link below, you become a beta tester. And that essentially means you're a tester. So whatever happens, you're kind of putting your drone up to the test. For now, I'm just showing you what's coming, okay? What's coming to the app. And what the app looks like so you can get familiar with it. So, all right, so let's fly out a little bit here. The maps are over here just like the DJI. You click on it or you click back on, on the screen. Very simple. You got your your home button here and your land button over there it's just very simple to the DJI you've got this button that you press right onto the camera right here that pulls up your menu gives you the same basic features but there's a few one one or two more things in there that's pretty good for professionals like if you want to adjust your sharpness you can do the sharpness that's found on the more premium DJI drones if you want so you can adjust your sharpness you can adjust your uh, contrast your saturation and stuff like that if you want so if you're looking to tweak a little bit more out of this drone for professional use it's got these features built in it's got all the basic things you look at the top here you hit p mode it switches to s mode and then to c mode and then back to p mode you can see your antenna you can see you're in gps p mode you could see your battery life you can see how many satellites you have and this little setting icon with these little three little setting wheels at the top right i click on that and you have all your basic stuff like your maps imperial metric uh, map zoom english find my aircraft reset settings your basic stuff your camera options where you can have overexposure warnings the same basic stuff that you will find in the dji fly app it's very similar right uh, return to home altitude maximum altitude all of that stuff is in it right it's got all pretty much just like the dji fly app it's got speech recognition in it right it shows you keys over here where you can press certain buttons have it programmable to do certain things 
this is wild right um this is primarily for the more expensive drones that have more buttons all over the place but yeah you can still customize whatever little buttons you have that's pretty much an overview of the app the features and that goes along with regular flying now let's go through some of these special features beta of course so everything might not work perfectly let's start with tracking so first let's find something to track and i think this is ideal for vehicles automobiles right so we're just gonna put a box around this vehicle over here right use two fingers and pinch like this to draw your box right and try to make your box as sizable uh, close to size as possible and this is for vehicle tracking so once that's done now you have a choice there if you look in the menu on the left here there's an orbiting feature that you can orbit now and just hit go and it'll orbit um, that's pretty cool and if I remember correctly if you hit this you can set um, the height at which it orbits let me go up high you can also push up on the sticks to just uh, adjust the height at which it orbits I'm gonna go pretty high um, just for safety and um, the distance at which it orbits the speed see you can slow the speed down and open the speed and so there's that and then there's the follow it does tell you there's some risk once you agree to follow and then hit yes I do understand the tracking So, I mean, it's tracking. It's, it's The box is kind of getting wide there. You know, but at least it's tracking, right? So is, is it the smoothest? No, I'm sure. You know, still in beta. Look what's happening with the box over there. The box getting wide. Man, it's just pulling over here. There's settings for you to do a little bit of fine tuning. I'm sure they're gonna fine tune those settings. You can track people too, as you can see there's a person icon, but I think it's also suited for vehicles as well once that gets perfected. There's a panel too where it takes like shots. You can you can do the 360 panel, which is cool, and you can do the wide panel. And you would actually have to stitch those photos together. It just stores the photos on the SD card. Well, I'm not much of a panel guy, so I'm just letting you know Know that's coming in terms of the focus um, this one is definitely uh, something to talk about so let's focus on something what do we want to focus on well there's this boathouse here so I just tap on the boathouse you see that pink camera icon that pops up right there I'll tap on it and that brings up all the settings do I want point of interest or mobile device I don't want it to point towards the mobile device because that defeats the whole purpose of point of interest I prefer it focus on the pink um, um, icon that's on the screen subject height how high do I think that building is I think that building is about 20 29 let's say 30 feet roughly 29 30 we'll leave it right there aircraft rotation auto joystick reference um, uh, to the mobile device that's fine joystick speed that's fine when we hit start I want you to look at the bottom right here at the whole out look we can actually look at this you can see the highway I'm gonna hit start look what happens BAM it automatically turns around now the job of the focus is to actually keep the camera in focus and centered more or less in this frame while you fly right so I don't have to focus or worry about the gimbal moving I can actually fly up to it and we'll see let me go up a little bit higher and see if the camera will look down automatically look I'm not touching the camera I'm not touching the camera I'm not touching the camera look at that it's gonna look down automatically and try to focus on that point of course the software is unrefined but you can see it trying let's go here come out of focus let's go into orbit orbit is the same thing basically it takes you to the map right and this is where you can orbit things I'm gonna click on the boathouse again and you can see the shutter there with the icon the beautiful thing with the orbit is let's click on the photo you can adjust the altitude at which you want to orbit so I think 114 is good I'm at like 112 right now the radius look at when I move it look at the circle the yellow circle look how it gets bigger and smaller bigger and smaller so that's pretty cool the, the, the radius the speed at which you want to go that's pretty cool uh, point of entry towards the north southwest doesn't matter to me the nearest point let that be the point of entry um, heading mode center center of course is the blue icon that's on top of the boathouse 
and what direction do you want clockwise anti-clockwise um, again you have to average the height of the subject I think it's about 29 feet roughly so that way it helps to keep the subject in the center of the gimbal one beautiful feature before I start this orbit that I want to show you is you could hit the save button right here type a name in and save it and that means that you can set up this orbit at home then drive and come over here and just hit start and bam and do it as long as you have your maps loading on your phone you can do this at home and then come to the spot so that's pretty cool you don't have to be on the spot to do this and just hit start and it's ready to go click on the, on the little icon over there and just hit start boom now for some reason the orbit's not working i don't know why it was working yesterday it's not working today again beta these are the things that you deal with when you're in testing mode but it's coming right it's coming let's go from orbit now to follow mode we're in follow mode uh, basically it's gonna follow the controller so whether you're in your car driving or you're walking with the controller in your hand basically the drone is gonna follow the controller so that's pretty cool so if the the box tracking is giving you a hard time there's always a second option and I find like between the two you'll get the shot that you want set your altitude at which you want it to follow i think 115 is good the higher the better the distance away from the controller so you can bring it closer or you can bring it further away it's all up to you um, what else can you adjust the heading on the course right i have it here you can change the heading mode course and turn that off and then it turns north south west east if you're a compass guy i'm gonna turn it on because i prefer leash left right that makes a little bit things more easier for me uh, gimbal control means you can control the gimbal while it's following you you want that on um, subject height i'm about what am i i'm about six feet so we're gonna go about six feet six six wow i'm six six four nine to six six we'll go with six six right subject offset i'm not sure if i want to be offset on the camera that's pretty much it right and um uh for horizontal movements just hit follow bam hit go it gives you a warning make sure that it's clear please exit tripod mode we're going to go in p mode and then hit follow hit go bam initializing there you go it's following me or following the controller i should say Wow, I haven't exercised this much in a long time. This method is actually probably the most reliable way because it can't really, because it can't really lose you see, unless you leave the controller down, it'll just follow the controller. So let's jump from follow to waypoint. And this is a pretty cool mode as well because you just mark pins on the map where you want the drone to go. I'll show you right now. Let's put a couple pins. Let's put one here. And then when you click on that one pin, you can adjust the altitude at which you want the drone to fly at that point or going to that point, the speed that you want, the curve, the gimbal pitch, um, what you want it to do. Look, I can hit this plus at the bottom here and tell it when it reaches that point, take a photo, start recording, rotate aircraft, tilt camera. Oh my gosh, I've got tons of options over here to do or to tell it to do when it hits that point. So that's the first point. Click on the, the map again. Bam, that's your second point. The cool thing about it, you can do this at home and hit that save button too. You don't have to be flying. You could do this at the comfort of your house and then just come out to the location and hit go, bam, and get it done. All right, second point again, you click on the second point. There's your options again. I'll hit the plus here. I don't want it to take a photo. I want to rotate the aircraft. How many degrees? I don't know. Let's go 45 degrees, right? Let's go 45 degrees. Done. That's, that's, that's a mission. Hit a third point right let's hit a third point over here third point what do we want to do with the third point let's go higher a little bit 114 and pretty much you can plan out missions and just boom have mavic mini executed so this is pretty cool and that's pretty much it you can save it right or you can just hit play and go it tells you the estimated time that it's going to take the distance that it is going to cover um, it also tells me my battery is running low, so it's probably not going to let me go. Yeah, fail to upload the uh, mission, probably because my battery is low or they haven't fully unlocked this in the beta yet. But they're getting there. As you can see, it's, it's getting there.
there's a settings here that tells you the heading towards the drone if the drone is flying do you want it to head towards the waypoint do you want to head in the initial direction do you want it to face the controller like you could have it fly all these points and face the controller or do you want to have it you know you just so much what happens when it's finished would you want it to go home you want it to land you know um, when it's flying the path do you want it curved turns do you want it straight lines how do you want it to fly I mean there's so much um, customization here so to speak it's it's unbelievable the, the app works just like the DJI fly app so you can fly normally last but not least uh, jump into FPV mode see this little goggles icon at the top right over here right below the settings menu click on that yes your screen looks kind of weird right put your phone in one of these $20 cases over here that sell on Amazon these uh, FPV goggles cases lock it up have a long enough cord so it reaches and connects to your controller slip it in the goggles you can get these goggles anywhere on Amazon and stuff Walmart everywhere's got them for like 20 bucks probably even less if you get it on sale Wow and then you get a full immersive experience it's actually pretty clean it's a clean image right and check this out right let's take a look at this right as you can see can you see both can you see the camera look at the camera right as I move my head <laughs> isn't that wild isn't that wild so while you're flying when you want to look somewhere basically you just look look down and look up and, and that's pretty much it oh yeah I can see my altitude I can see my distance I can see my um, my my battery life I can see my ISO my exposure everything is on my screen in nice small little writing so I can see this stuff while I'm flying I have a nice clear crystal image and I can fly I'm holding this up so you can see as I'm flying and yeah so it's pretty cool what you can do with Mavic Mini these days. Leechy has been around a very long time. I'm pretty sure they'll do a very good job. It's just a matter of time. I hope this gives you some kind of hope and something to look forward to. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of these new features coming in the Leechy app for the Mavic Mini, the waypoints, the FPV, the follow, all these features. What do you think? Is this exciting news that someone is actually out there building these building these features in for us? And guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up because when it does become official, I'll do a full tutorial. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section. And when this launches fully, I will start doing tutorials on how to use these features just let me know guys subscribe how many times must I say subscribe if you have not subscribed already and share this video with anyone who you know flies the DJI Mavic Mini with that being said guys I will see you whenever I can big shout out to autonomous drone services and madmixtube.com for providing us with the equipment to make these videos possible i'm still giving away six dji mavic 2 pros or zooms head over to my patreon account donate a dollar become a patron and automatically you're entered to win a chance to win one of six of those drones guys let's make this happen come on support me and help me support you